Alright, how you guys doing? And welcome back to Mask of Deception with me, your girl, No Fuses. We're just gonna get straight into it, okay? And if you guys like this video or this series, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Let me see now. The innkeeper sets down her tray and pulls out a dog eared notebook, flipping through his pages. There's help needed, hmm, cutting stones at the quarry, hauling fresh lumber. How's that sound? Huan gives me a sidelong look. What? Um, if you have any work that doesn't require physical strength, that would be best. No hard labor? Nothing requiring strength? Hmm, what about milling flour? The airman you carried to the mill the other night needs grinding. That doesn't really require brawn. That sounds perfect. Huan clapped her hands excitedly. So you'll take the job? Yes, that should be fine, I think. Huan looks over at me again. Ugh, not much more of this. <sighs> it's quite troublesome. We usually would have just used the water mill, but it's broken right now. Can't you fix it? I'd love to, but it's impossible. Hardly anyone out here can tinker with machinery like that who really knows what they're doing. We sent for an engineer from the capital to have a look, but no one will agree to come out this far for one measly water mill. Seems like she's just forging ahead and negotiating the work without me. From the sound of things, she's probably going to make me do this one too. Uh, I reject, I renounce, I refuse this work. Why do you keep showing me the sky game? Yes, I get it, there's beautiful sunny sky out there. Hmm, it really isn't moving. It's be broken after all then. Having given up trying to get the mill moving, Kuan mutters to herself, peering at the gears. Ah, uh, so this thing's gotta be the brush stone mill for grinding, and this must be the motor. I think I get it. The water mill rotates the rod, which turns the wheels, which moves the mill. Seems like it busted at the moment, though. How am I supposed to move this thing? That's just how the pieces fly, Kasaku. I'm going to have to turn the M grindstone. What? Is it turn? Wait, you mean... I'll show you. First, take a man from the bag and pour it in the bag. It's broken! You want me to use physical strength to move it and grind it? Oh no. Good opens up one of the sets, lying piled in the corner, pouring his contents out into the motor. And then you turn the wheel. She grabs a hold of the handle, jutting from the other round millstone, and grabs a small, almost casual push. The mill spins with unreasonable force with that tiny push, grinding and crushing it into powder. Uh, maybe I put my back into that one a little much. A little much? Wait, is, is something Is that smoke? Lo and behold, the friction of that force created smoke gently rising from the mill. Give it a try, in any case. Like hell I'll be able to do that. Where do you even get the strength for something like this? But if I recall, you're supposed to walk in a circle with the handle to get the mill going, right? I may not be able to do it like her, but getting spin should be easy enough task. I prefer not to work, but I should show my gratitude. I take the handle and begin to push. Alu? Not exactly light, but I think I can handle this. I mean, how useless could I be if I could? She can't be expecting me to screw this up, right? Excellent. You shouldn't have any problems, I think. I have some errands to tend to, so you'll be right if I leave you alone here, right, Haku? Yeah, I just need to grind this stuff into powder, right? Uh-huh. I'll get you to it, then. Well, might as well get this over with. Push, push, push! I mean, after a while, you're gonna get tired. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad it's not strenuous, but man, I'm bored. This is Merton's work. Not to mention, this thing is barely putting out any powder at all. It'll take no time at all for Quinn. 
This is gonna take forever at this rate. I should pick up the pace. Phew, first bag down. Well, time to take a break. Did he fall over? Jeez, all that for one bag? All that work and I've only finished the first little bit? Come on! Ah, uh, there's no way I'm getting all this done. I was way too often, so what am I gonna do? The legs have turned into jelly. My feet are blistering. The boredom is killing me. Why the hell do I need to turn this thing all day like I'm livestock or something anyway? We didn't even have to do this if they'd fixed their damn mill in the first place. Laying on the ground, I glanced toward the system with gears connected to the mill. They said something like the repairman hasn't come yet. That's not like mills are complicated. If someone had the had the mind to do it, I'm sure they could. Eh? That's it. All I gotta do is fix this thing. Why didn't I think of that? It's so obvious. I picked myself up and set about examining the structure of the mill. Carefully, I scrutinize each part in sequence. Finally, come to a gear that feels off. Yeah, this is the one. The gear for grinding stone. Stone cracked and got stuck. No wonder it won't move. Now what to do? If the gear itself is broken, is there anything I can? Hmm. This is ah. Now I can look closely. The mechanism for the motor is exactly, exactly the same. If that's the case, I can just pull a gear that's not in use from the other part of the machine. If I drop that right in here, it should spin, probably. I slide off the broken gear and place it with another one of the same size. I know this was my idea, but wow, I wasn't expecting it to fit so perfectly. The gear from the other mixer is just the right size. Did no one else really think of this? Whatever, no way to know until I test it out. Moving on to the window, I find the rope holding the watermill in place and untie it. The last half of the axle in the center slowly begins to rotate. The gears follow suit and finally the mill starts to move as well. Oh hey, alright, we've got movement! The unit inside the mill falls out into a steady stream of fine powder. Yes, success! All I can do is sit and reap the rewards. I sit back down on the floor and kick my feet up for a nice long, well-deserved break. The mill continues spinning before me. Quickly overtaking my efforts from before. It's from Powder City. I figured if it keeps this pace up, I should be done by nightfall. Really, I should have done this from the start. Close from outside, interrupt my thoughts. Acting on reflex and instant, I quickly stand and move the mail. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> Haku, everything going on right in here? Just as I reach the milk, Kuin pokes in her head, holding a tray in her hands. Ugh. Oh yeah. Doing great. For some reason, I find myself with my hands around the hand, pushing the freely retorting mill. Why am I at the front kid trying to hide shirking his homework from his parents? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going well, I guess. Well, this is... Wait, hold up. Catch myself just as I'm about to explain to Gwen how I swapped the internet gear, pausing. If the mill's repaired, there's no point to me spinning this stupid thing, which means I wouldn't have to be here. And Quinn wouldn't just find another job for me to do, right? In fact, I recall the conversation Quinn had with the innkeeper. There's help me in cutting stones at the quarry, hauling for Schlumber. How's that sound? He's like, oh no, you make me work more! No, 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 no more. I've had my fill. I reject, I renounce, I refuse this work. <laughs> Guess there's no choice. Kinda sucks lying to her, but I'm gonna pretend I'm working for now. Queen doesn't seem to catch on, for she steps inside and touches the bench with her tray, tail curly. You're probably tired from all that work. I brought some tea. Come on, take a break with me. Well, two cups sit perched on the tray. Warm steam rising from their depths. Not good. If I let go now, this thing is gonna keep moving on its own and it'll be a dead giveaway. Is something wrong? Oh no, just I'll be done with this bag in a bit. I'll stop for a break then. Your tea is gonna 
get cold then no you shouldn't push so hard you've only just recovered you really should take a small break for your health you know i can switch with you if you for a bit huh um no thanks it's my job after all huh? yep she'll definitely figure me out if we switch off you sure you're not pushing yourself over your limit of course not well if you say so i suppose it would be prudent to interrupt while you're working so hard <laughs> Who smiles taking a delicate sip of her own tea? Hmm, I have to say, I'm a little relieved. About what? I was a little worried you were going to starve to death the way you were carrying on. Huh? You were so weak. I wasn't sure if you were going to survive. What? Was that really that dire of a situation? I didn't think it was that bad. You were sure to carry loads even children could handle. You could barely walk with them even. In a weakened state like that, I was worried you'd be no good for manual labor. Your hands look very clean too. I expect you will never hold a hoe. Let anyone done any hunting. Uh, does she really think I'm that hopeless? Are my soups really that bad? But judging by how you're doing with that mill, I guess your body was just recovering. Seeing you back at four strength is really relieving. I, I see. Well now what to do? I can't just ruin everything she just said and tell her the truth now. Nope. Crap, I'm getting really tired. I actually do want to take a break, but I can't walk once here. I feel like I'm being gripped by the sea room, but I'm really at my limit here. Hey, Kuan, I think I can handle this by myself. So if you have other stuff to do, don't wait up. Hmm, I suppose you're right. I don't feel good leaving you alone, I guess. You don't trust me much, do you? Eh, she figured it out I'm trying not to work. Please, just take the out and go, please! It's not that. I just worried that if I take my eyes off you, you might fall down and die. Come on, you and I'm... <sighs> not that weak. I think. As the one who took you on, it's my duty to see to your health. If I'm not capable of doing that, then it was wrong of me to bring you along back there. It's nice to hear you say that, but I'm not too comfortable with so much worrying. I'm sure you're busy, but don't let me keep you. Really? But if you insist, I'll be on my way. Quinn sits down on a couple of bricks and stands. Just remember, don't overdo it, okay? Take breaks every once in a while. Alright, understood. I get it. So would you please go so I can actually take a break? Good. Blah. Once I'm sure it is out of earshot, I come to the ground beneath the mill. Phew, somehow I managed to play it off. I feel guilty, but i worry about that later. I guess I'll grab some tea before. Dang! Yikes. Oh, Haku! Yeah! Jump back to the mill in the good time! <laughs> no! Oh boy, you've been caught. It's probably a little cold now, but the tea... Is something wrong? No, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Really? Well, it's important to stay hydrated. Drink the tea when you can. Yeah, understood. Oh, keep up the good work. This time I keep my ears open for any unusual sounds. Clips would slowly grow more and more distant until finally I can't hear them anymore. Gee, that was my heart going to leap right out of my chest. I wipe the sweat from my brow and recover the mill. What do I do now, though? I have no way of telling when Kuma will be back or when this will be done. There's gotta be a way to wrap this up quick, wrap this up faster. Maybe if I get the mill to turn more quickly. Once again, I examine each part of the mechanism and see which trying to puzzle up my dilemma. If I want to increase the grinding speed, I could change up the gear ratio. It'll work in theory. There's a bunch of gears that aren't moving right now. Anyway. If I just swap those in. Brain buddy, you're on point today. I took some took some trial and error, but sure enough, I got the gears rearranged successfully. As the last gear slots into place, another loud thunk heralds the mill groaning to life once more. Whoa, nice. It's gonna be quite a clip. That's when the gears in the mill turn the snow much faster than before. 
more and it turns to power with each rotating motion of the mill. All right, this should double, no, triple my output. All I've got to do is keep throwing Emin into the thing. Oh, right, the tea. Quinn went through the trellis, so I should drink some. Probably cold now. Footsteps? Footsteps sound closer and closer, so I quickly jump back to the mill handle. As I get my crew up there, I can feel this sped up mill pulling me along. I have to run to keep up. <laughs> no! Boy, you might just give it up. Come on now. You've been caught. Uh, too fast. I tried to slow myself down, but I can't with the momentum. I'm trying to stop this ends from getting dragged. I almost forgot about dinner tonight. Would you? Then cuts herself off at the sight of me running at full tilt around the mill greets her. What exactly is going on here? As you can see, I'm just uh, spinning the mill, jeez. It looks more like the mill is spinning you. Uh, well, I think it pre I've gotten pretty uh, used to it. Speed is a problem. I nearly tripped over my feet in my struggle to keep my balance. And she's like, wait a minute. Is something the matter? Haku. Gwen looks at me with suspicious eyes. <laughs> yeah? Can't breathe. I think this is my limit here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? No, no, no. I'm not hiding anything from you. Look, I'll be great. I'm just fine here. So yeah, good take care of your... Uh, Oh, no need for that. I'm already finished all my errands. I think I'll stay here and watch you work for a little while. What? Quinn reduced his fish on the bench and claimed me for tea and sipping elegantly. Hmm, a bit lukewarm now, I think. Quinn lets her long scissors tail switch back and forth as she watches me struggle. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> you sound a little better about Paku. Are you alright? <laughs> what could you possibly mean? I'm not out of breath. Then why is your face so red, Haku? It's pretty hot out today, yup. And why are your arms like shaking like a newborn animals? I'm just trembling with excitement here. Work. What a rush. Ah, I see. Suddenly, Quinn's tail whips out and snakes around my legs, taking them out from under me. What the? The hino quickly comes full circle without me. Blah! Take it in the back. The might of the water wheel carries little for my body weight, pushing me along. Round and round and round. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're having an awesome day today. Haku, take a seat. Well, you see, I said take a seat. Uh, Corn f forces me to sit on my knees. So you managed to fix the watermill, but kept quiet about it. Well, whatever your method, as long as you were grinding grains here, I wouldn't have given you more work. Wait, what? Then I went through all that for nothing? But when you do something like this, it makes me feel like you don't trust me. Not to mention it's sad. Ugh, sorry. Anyway, I'll let the Angel Run know the mill is at least somewhat usable now. I'm sure she'll be thrilled by the news since she seemed pretty down by it being broken. Well, but if you tell them that, they won't be able to slack off! And there aren't any problems with that, are there, Haku? Uh, well, you know, maybe we could keep it a secret for a while longer. Just, you know, an idea. Ha 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 ha. smiles cheerfully. It's a very kind and gentle earnest smile, but a chill courses through my spine nonetheless. Er. In the next instant, Quinn's whip like tail wraps around my head tightly. Sorry, I couldn't catch what you said there. What was that? Ooh. Wait, good. An immense force presses inward in my skull, closing with strength of a vice. Oh, right. I didn't finish what I was saying. You did 
do something of use to the people living here, so you get a little reward. And for a reward, your punishment will be a small one. Oh god, somebody's breaking his skull. Yeah! But, you know, between the romantic and this, I'm starting to think you aren't a manual worker. I think I had the wrong idea about you after all. Yeah, I thought for sure my skull was gonna crack. I thought it did crack. I thought it was about to cave in. Once Kuhn finally reached me, I returned to the inn, where commotion seems to be brewing. Huh? What's with the crowd? Doesn't seem like they're from around here. They look like they, they've been on the road for a while. Most of them are well armed, too. So he explained again. He switched the uh, gears? Right. You're all be able to use one of them at a time. The machinery is in working order now. I worked my way through the crowd of newcomers to find Kuhn in the innkeeper desk. She left me behind to suffer her little punishment, and it seems to have struck up a conversation in the meantime. I'm not too sure I understand, but I guess as long as the mill is working. Everyone be glad to hear we don't have to hand mill everything anymore. Thank you. That mill was a gift to us from a great Akuto himself, you see. It would have been a heartbreaking if, he, if we were never able to use it again. The great Makudo. Now, as for today's pay, I'll throw in a bonus for fixing the mill, shall I? Yes, talk about payoff, I guess. I'm finally getting reward for good behavior. There's no telling what we might need the extra cash for down the line. No point in refusing either. Oh, please. That's not necessary. Our fix is just temporary. Save that money for a proper repairman. And he's like, no! What? Wait, what? Oh, but that doesn't feel right. Please take it. I insist. Really, it's fine. Isn't that right, Haku? Gordon seems to have noticed me and turns me with a pleasant smile. Oh, well, I don't really think. See? Haku agrees. He doesn't really think a bonus is necessary. What the hell? You gotta be kidding me! Is that so? Well, aren't you just the sweetest? Alright, if you say so. What? It's not as much as a bonus, but at least let me make the best supper I can for you for you tonight. Really? Thank you, ma'am. Your cooking is always the best. Oh, stop. You make me blush. I just hope my best lives up to your expectations. And of course, she's going to eat a hellish amount of food again. And who is this dashing fellow? Oh, he's got freaking check marks for eyes, for eyebrows. I'm sorry, guy. <laughs> uh, bow me stare at your eyebrows every time you appear, all the time. Just so you know. Sorry to keep you waiting. As we continue speaking with the inker, a man suddenly enters and interrupts. Ah, uh, him. He looked to be the one in charge of the group outside, as far as I could tell. What's with this ominous music? It kind of reminds me of Naruto. Like we're like we're just about to be told something awful. Or something super, super serious. I sent a message ahead, but I just wanted to make sure you got the runes for all of us. Ah, yes, I've been expecting your group. You've come from far away, haven't you? We've been here for a few days. My men need food and drink, especially drink. We'll pay, of course. Even at a glance, I can tell this guy has some serious muscles. A pretty impressive beard, too, but it looks young underneath. Yeah, he does have a young face. Feels like the rough and Branson time. He doesn't seem to give much talk to his appearance. Huh? I'm guessing you two are guests here, too. That's correct. Nice to meet you, sir. Same. Sorry if things get uh, a little rowdy while we're here. The stranger smiles and nods apologetically. He seems like an honest, friendly sort, actually. Here you are. The innkeeper hands him a stack of wooden room keys. That looks to be all of them. Thanks, ma'am. Master Ukon, it's... It pleasants my heart to report my belongings lay duly, unpack it, and await porters. 
Another man enters the enters the inn. Oh god. Jeez. Oh my god, no. Uh You can't see me, but I'm shaking my head. No. That's a lot of makeup, my guy. I can't help but set for a laugh and don't think anyone else here will blame me for it. Not after catching a look at this guy. His lanky figure, his ridiculous flashy robe, those are both fine. The makeup I can't get over. Ah, well done. I am very, very tired, sir. Not more than do I desire than a nap in airlog in restful repose. What? Not? Somehow I managed to keep myself from laughing in his ludicrous painted face. God, I've never seen someone whose voice matches his face so well. I can't breathe. I'm calling it now. His name is going to be something stupidly old-fashioned like Maro. Really, Mar Maro. Seems like you get tired quicker and quicker these days. Oh my god. He guessed correctly. Maro Maro. His name is actually Maro Maro. Oh my god. Get some exercise every now and then, huh? Stop sitting behind your damn desk all day. Psst! Time ruleth but infinite, and my tasks are legion. But soft, I behold a muse. What are you saying? Maru's face brightens as soon as he knows his kuan. Huh? Fair thy visage, both dot seem a bud on Crips cups. Would that all could witness its blooming air with this arrived? Wow, ain't often I see you get word of oh for a girl, Marmaro. Hast thee no eyes to see, friend, where even amidst the imperial capital's mere beauties are such visions of radiance? Is this some kind of stunt to win my heart? Ack, sweet lady Perth, I met no such advance. Thy beauty hath simply captivated me. So that is to say, ah, uh, um, Pray ease thy suspicions and grant me thy pardon. Maru thou mist call me. What? I am fine. Own eyes deceive me, not as dear master Ukund do him. Thou art our fellow guest in this place of hospitality. On our company's behalf, I beg thee forgive our unruis Adam. We seek Ben's reveal only. It's fine, really. I wouldn't be so rude as to put a stop to a good time. <laughs> That's so. Glad to hear it. We aren't here to cause trouble. You barely knows we're here. We ought to get back to unpacking the carts, though. No better way to work up a Thursday. We beg your leave, sir and lady. With that, the two of them head outside. Alright, you layabouts. Back to unloading. Then we feast. Yes, sir! Ukon's men respond in a rallying cry in unison. And don't go calling trouble with people around here. You lost got that. Yes, sir! Sounds like a spirit uh, sounds like a spirited bunch. I turn to Kuan and she's fallen silent, her eyes looking on the doorway. Kuan? Hmm? Yes, they do seem interesting. I'm curious to what where they're from, I think. The guy who's dressed like a clown and talks like an old play would make anyone wonder. Definitely the way he talks and carries himself, he's no ordinary person, is he? The makeup, the voice, the shimogi he's wearing. I don't even know where to start with him. Oh, you know this too, huh? I'm actually a little impressed, Haku. What are you talking about? Who wouldn't? Ah, uh, this is why I love to travel. I never would have expected to someone like that on the road. Huh? So you're um, into guys like that, huh? I don't think you guys are talking about the same person right now. Seriously, guys who look like that? I didn't mean it that way, but I suppose I like my men more like him, yes? I... I see. I don't believe it. She really goes in for guys like that. Uh, to each her own, I guess, hardly my place to judge for her taste. But maybe I can use it to get on her good side. I see. Thou pairs thy men foe to tear that like this, eh? Paired barely. And she's wearing like, what the, what the hell are you doing? Why exactly are you talking like that, Haku? Method thou enjoys men who speak it so. What ails thee? <laughs> what is wrong? Stop. 
Hank gives me a cold smile. My heart drops into my throat and I try to make an escape, but her tail catches me like a lasso. Wait, what? Ooh! And we're going to go into this wondrous drinking party in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy it, but I have run out of time. I know I am sorry. I want to know what happens next too. But we'll see what happens next time in the next video. And if you guys would like to see more of this series, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Bye! I'll see you later!